The tomb of the unknown soldier at Arlington National Cemetery has a new wreath this afternoon. After Bandit, a service dog took part in a special ceremony there earlier today. The certified comfort dog was invited by the U.S. Honor Guard to take part in the wreath laying, which took place at 11.15 this morning. Afterwards, there was a meet and greet, at which members of the public got to meet Bandit, who has been a therapy dog for four years. Today is World Architecture Day. The day was started by the International Union of Architects to celebrate all of the unique buildings around us each day. To mark the occasion, the Hirshhorn Museum and Sculpture Garden gave guided tours. The tour highlighted the museum's unique building style known as brutalism. A huge debate amongst architecture critics and building lovers is raging at the moment. The debate centers around how many windows the museum has. The building is circular and has just one exterior window, but the inside courtyard, there are close to 100. So you have to decide which camp you're in. Are you in the one? Are you in the 113? And what makes a window? So there's a big conversation online and on social media going on about this right now. Many of the metro stops, federal buildings, and office buildings in the district have also been built in the same style. The Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine is being awarded today to a doctor from Japan. Yashinori Oshomi is receiving the prize for his discoveries in the process of autophagy. This is how cells recycle their own content. Scientists have known about this process for 30 years, but Oshomi was the first to design experiments that found the genes necessary for this process. Kim Kardashian West is down $10 million in jewelry today after she was robbed at gunpoint in Paris. The reality TV star was tied up and locked inside her hotel bathroom as the robbers made off with her jewelry. She was unharmed but badly shaken up. West's husband, musician Kanye West, was performing in New York at the time. West cut the concert short, citing a family emergency. Two years after actor Robin Williams committed suicide, his widow is speaking out about Williams' struggles in his final days. In an essay titled, The Terrace Inside My Husband's Brain, Susan Schneider Williams writes about how her husband had problems with memory loss and anxiety due to his diagnosis with Lewy body disease. This disease is neurological and is similar to Alzheimer's, and Schneider Williams wrote that as if it was as if the chemical warfare was occurring in her husband's brain. It's really, really such a sad I know, thing. it's absolutely a horrible story. Well, this has been District Wire News. I'm Maggie Miller. And I'm Grace Reese. Watch us online at districtwirenews.com and thanks for watching. Have a great day.